first final. How was it? Yeah, it was pretty surreal. Um, definitely step of intensity. I, I think I told uh, Jed Adcock, our forwards coach, that definitely step of intensity, and especially against Richmond, it was a big occasion. But no, it was just it was just unreal. Yeah. What was different from that game to regular season? Um, probably just the 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 speed of it, maybe, and more more tackling pressure. And, not enough time to, I guess, you know, do what you would do in the home and away season, so. You saw that, I think it was in the second quarter, you, you got chased down and you maybe thought you had a bit more time. Did As the game went on, did you feel a little bit more comfortable with the speed of the game? Yeah, yeah, so I went into the, went into the game with the mindset, just, you know, just tackle pressure and then hopefully get a few touches on the back of that, so. Um, but no, mindset was just going and then I know when I got, I thought I had a bit more time when I um, dummy that ball, but. Um, I guess that's just fine as footy, um, you know, overall. So don't really have much time as, as you do during the season. I was saying that on the couch last night that you made a couple of like, key tackles in that, in that second quarter that sort of turned the sort of tide towards the lines. Did you, did you sort of, you know, you know sort of feel that? Um, yeah, yeah. So I, I think first quarter, I was, it, was, it was definitely the speed of it was good. And then second quarter, I just wanted to jump in that sixth roll that we, that we do and then just put tackle pressure on because they like to exit through the back. So um, just want to put pressure on and lay a few tackles to get me warmed up and settle into the game. Where did you lay the tackle, mate? You, you put some big hits on, just made a, made a statement. Like, how, where's that come from? Well, we actually do practice a lot of tackling um, here at training, yeah. you know, whether it's with uh, Mitch Hahn or Henry, we just do a few tackling drills and during the preseason as well. So, um, and also just, you know, just get in, just even just get around him and, Tap and just hold on, really. I'm talking about like when you were younger. Like, was that something that yeah, you've well, been able to lay a big hit on? Or? Yeah, um, I always liked to tackle when I was during, during junior footy. So um, I guess sort of, you know, transferred into to AFL level. So how much is like a technique thing versus your desire? You clearly want to tackle blokes and make sure they stick. Yeah, I really want to really want to tackle. It's not really technique. I said, I guess it's, if I just if I get contact, just hold on and then. Try bringing the ground, so I'm not the biggest bloke out there. So, and there's a few big AFL footy players out there. So, just try bringing them ground, and then um, whatever happens from there happens. In some ways, are you sort of pinching yourself because you came into the side a couple of weeks out from finals. There were some injuries and suspensions when you came, but have you been able to hold on to, to your spot, and now you're playing in these big games at the Gabba? Yeah, um, I'm pretty happy with my with my role in the team. Um, not really doing anything spect spectacular. Just come and do the one percentage which is tackle, you know, squeeze the ground and play my role, which is which is I want to do. And then, um, you know, hopefully Fags and those uh, are happy with my performances um, each game and I can just build build on game from game. Have you allowed yourself to think six weeks ago I was sort of knocking on the door and now I'm playing on? Yeah, um, I was actually thinking that the other day. Um, I was just sitting on the couch <laughs> watching the other finals footy game. I just wouldn't expect myself to be in this position. Um, where I am now, um, but yeah, just grateful opportunity for, especially the coach to give me a chance. Um, you know, dream come true as well. So, what, what game were you watching? Were you um, I was watching the Saints Bulldogs game. So, yeah, because me, me little brother um, supports the Saints. So, you does he support the Lions now? Or? Nah, <laughs> 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 no one actually does. So, um, they they have a bit more favour to Lions, but they still support their their their, their normal team. So. You grew up playing, uh, so supporting Collingwood. You made your debut against Collingwood. Yeah. Chance you could be playing a prelim final against Collingwood at the gathering. Yeah, this will be a very interesting game between them and Geelong. So, um, I guess we all will be sitting on the couch, maybe watching some. We'll be watching some won't. So, um, I guess wait, wait and happen. Wait to see what happens with, with Collingwood Geelong, um, and then go from there. Was it your brother or your cousin who plays for Morningside? Uh, younger brother. Yeah, yeah, they got up on the weekend, didn't they? So yeah, they won, ended up winning the Quaffle Grand Final against Broad Beach um, here, actually. So, um, no, it was good for him, good for his confidence. Um, he just came out from the, the draft combine Saturday, so... Um, Any hope... tips about winning finals? No, <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't yet, so... <laughs> the... Kitty, being the new kid on the block, um, um, being the new boy around the town, I guess the opposition don't know much about you. Do you use that to your advantage, like that you can almost go under the radar a bit and, and fall through. Yeah, I don't really think about it that way. I just, you know, um, I guess probably, you know, few people would expect me to be a new kid, so they don't really put time into me, but that, that's fine. I'm, you know, I'm just coming coming in here to do play my role. 
Um, That's good though. Yeah, yeah, it is. So, um, you know, um, the more I put pressure on and um, hopefully, you know, yeah, so. Not. How old were you when you moved to Brisbane? Around the quiet uh, 10, years, 10. 10, yeah. Just came down here for Christmas and then ended up staying. I went back to, to Catherine and then came back. Yeah. Um, Mum just said, you just want to go come back to prison for school and then footy as well, so. And your AFL was up in your yeah. mind then? Yeah, I always loved AFL. Yeah. Um, loved me rugby league as well, but more AFL. Did you think it was possible? Like, that's when you're a 10-year-old kid to... AFL? Watch footy and, yeah, to see think you could be... Um, you know, I thought, you know, I could make it happen. Um, thankfully, it has, but... I thought I had the, the skills, it's more the, the fitness and the work rate up and the mindset of myself to keep continuing on, so.